Hi, I'm James from Batrium and today I'll be going over how to create an account with our BMI system and connect a provisioned Watchmon Core device uh, to that account. So to start with, open up the Toolkit 2 software and head down to the connection selector here. We'll head over to Web Access, which is how you'll view the data of your BMS online. So it's done. Alrighty, so we don't have an account yet, so we'll hit New Registration. Go put our test email in here. And hit Random for the password is always good. Um, if you like, you can copy these down um, or put them in a password manager, store them in Chrome, uh, whatever you like. So hit register. And uh, yeah, we can see that the registration code's been sent by that green success message. And there it's come through. Alrighty, copy that code, put it in. And we got an okay. So, uh, yep, that's remembered our details there. I can hit log on. And we can see that we have a team associated with us. It's just created a team. These are stored devices in them. So if you have a bunch of batteries um, and you want to go uh, let someone take a peek at them every so often, uh, you'll be able to do that. But most people just have one team and one battery, which is totally enough to view the data of that battery from everywhere. So we've got our account, we've got our team, um, but if we head into that team, we'll see it's empty. So we need to add our provisioned Watchmon core device. Um, provisioning was covered in a previous video and is definitely something that you need to do. So uh, we will change to USB as the connection selector. Make sure that works. And we'll head over to Tools and Web Provisioning. And we'll hit Copy IDs, which just copies all the unique info about this Watchmon and uh, allows the other tool to put that into BMI. So we'll close this. Head back into the connection selector. Head to web access. And we're in this team here and we'll hit add. And you can just hit paste IDs. And you'll see a success message if you pasted something valid. And we just hit add to team. And we've got a success message here. Now that we've added the device, uh, we can go ahead and select it in the Toolkit 2 software from the team. And uh, yep, it'll go grab all of the data from, from this device. You'll see it'll fill in there as well. You can close it, you can head into hardware and uh, start making configuration changes or that sort of thing. Of course, you always need the pin code printed on the back of the device. And this was done all over the internet, so it could be done from anywhere. The data update rate is maybe about once every five minutes uh, for our free plan, and that's definitely enough for uh, batteries in you know large-scale systems because they move fairly slowly. That's it for this video. Uh, next one, we'll run over how to use our Android and iOS apps. See ya.